You got a notebook? Yes. Wait, what is, are you making boats? Oh yeah. Is it from my, is it from my notebook? Yeah. Are those my notes? Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 Do you think we should use our magic to help her? Ugh, fine. But I mean, oh, honestly, no. this was completely preventable. She could have at least scanned them, or taken pictures of the notes, or used Good Notes Community, the new Good Notes feature. So GoodNotes Community is a new feature of the digital note-taking app GoodNotes, and it's a study resource that will be available to everyone, not just digital note-takers, since it's also going to be a website. And full disclosure, I've been using GoodNotes for note-taking for over a year, and they reached out to me a while ago and let me test out the beta version of GoodNotes Community, which is why I can make this video today. But enough blabbing, so what is GoodNotes Community? Basically, it's the first social digital study platform and GoodNotes is trying to make it become the largest database of available study notes. So in other words, community allows the millions of students who use GoodNotes worldwide or even those who don't use GoodNotes to have one place to upload their notes and also like each other's posts, comment, follow each other, etc. So in short, you can upload your notes or other study materials and also see other students' notes headers, notebook covers, save notes, filter the notes by categories or subjects, and you can upload your notes either directly from GoodNotes or you can upload a separate like PDF. So even if the notes haven't been made in GoodNotes, if you scan them or take a picture of them, you can upload them to community. So why do I think this Good Notes community is worth making an entire video about? Well, number one, ever since I released my iPad note-taking video a year ago, I've been getting requests to upload my notes somewhere or to make a textbook out of them. And for a while I was thinking of either making a Google Drive or some kind of document, but I just never got around to it because there have been issues in the past with people not being able to access the documents that I uploaded. But now I finally have a place where I can just easily transfer my notes directly from GoodNotes to the community and then you guys can see it easily and save it. So for now I uploaded my best most legible notes from astronomy and advertising and I'd like to hear your feedback on whether or not you guys like them and they're easy to read so feedback would be awesome. And secondly I am obsessed <laughs> with the notebook covers and stickers that other users have been uploading there. I think it's so cool that you can just choose from hundreds of awesome and unique designs and use them for your own digital notebooks. I'm especially obsessed with these like strawberry and watermelon ones, they're just so cute. And you can technically also print out the stickers or notebook covers and use them for your physical notes if you write your notes on paper. But yeah, so I'm just kind of obsessed with all the stickers and the notebook covers also. And even header ideas are there too that are really useful.
So thirdly, their giveaways. Good Notes does do monthly community giveaways and they regularly give away amazing prizes like iPads, iPhones, AirPods, MacBooks, and a bunch of other smaller prizes. So if you really like giveaways and also want a chance to win like a really cool prize, all you have to do to enter is upload documents to community and with each document you upload, you get one ticket added to the lottery. So the more tickets you have, the higher the chance of winning. And they also have wild lotteries for smaller prizes where even if you uploaded just one document that month, you still have as much of a chance as someone who uploaded 100 documents. So fourth, I overall think it's just really great that you can directly access and save notes from all different subject areas. So it's basically just like borrowing notes from friends, but they're all over the world, which is really convenient. So you can also classify classes by university and by the name of the class. So you hopefully over time will be able to see notes from your own university students in all different classes. And I personally prefer really well-written handwritten notes over a regular textbook just because it's usually more condensed plus it's more visually appealing and that way if you need notes for a specific topic or want to look ahead and see what type of content you'll be covering in a class you'll be taking in the future you'll have access to them and of course though i would treat good notes community notes like you would a friend's notes so just be sure to sometimes double check if the info in the notes is correct especially if you're using them to prepare for a test since they aren't an official textbook Lastly, like I said before, GoodNotes community is going to be available as a website. So even if you don't have a tablet or digital notes, you'll be able to access the platform via a computer once it's live. And you can do that by following the instructions here and signing up for the waitlist and using the link in my description box. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview of GoodNotes community. Let me know what you think of the notes that I uploaded. And thanks so much to GoodNotes for letting me access access community early and try it out. You fell into the lake? Are you okay? Do you need help? Oh my. They're stuck? Ah! Uh, I told you. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's that laugh? <laughs> Activity Fairy, were you able to get the notes back? No, unfortunately not. By the time I arrived, the water spirits already ate them. They thought that they were some kind of bread or something. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's quite Why? unfortunate. Oh well. No.